Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swiss Show Market Review. Just wanted to do a video here of the queues. I made a really good call today, calling uh, the market long, and the market's a long. It was a long today, and it. Jeez, I've been saying all along this market's higher. I'm the only one that's saying that. This is this market is higher. Not only that, market is going to make a new high this month. <laughs> One of the things I've been pointing out all along is power, 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 power. Power, when it comes in, it takes over. It takes over. And you really have to watch. And you want to be with the power. So this is what I call power buying. It's happening in the market today. This is buying. Market's getting bought today. And that's what it really took for this to happen. And I've been watching all along every single day, waiting, waiting, waiting. And just all that was happening in here is that the bulls weren't coming in to buy more of the market. When I saw this area down in here that, that bounced yesterday, this was really a target I gave, 90.25. 90.25 was one of the targets in the QQQs in 90. And the market held 90.24. I mean, it was within a penny of where I said the target was for the Qs yesterday. Into the bounce. Now, this morning we came up and we got down when I woke up in the morning and I thought, boy, and so I said, this is interesting. And I talked about it in the room in the morning, and I said, this is it. Market has to hold in here today. The bulls have to come in and hold this market in here today. It's really, today needs to be the day here that the market gets bought, and I thought it would happen. And it is. So the market held immediately today in both the Qs and the spies out of the gate. Market is along today. I called it very early, and some people in the room bought it. It was a nice call, and I knew it would have a big target if it followed through, and that's what's happening. We're not done here yet today. It's only 1.30. Really, the target today in the queues is 93. We're almost there. And I do think we gap up tomorrow morning. I'd be surprised if we don't. Finally gapping out. We've been gapping down every day for the last however many, last week. And the market is probably going to make a new high yet this month. It seems like it's hard to believe, but it's very, very possible and that's exactly how I think it's going to end up playing out. I've called this market all along higher. Did it pull in? Yes. Did it pull in tremendously? No. No, it didn't. This is just a pull in. Nothing goes straight up in a straight line. Nothing goes down in a straight line. It just doesn't trade out that way. That's not how things act. They wiggle and jiggle, wiggle and jiggle, and the market is still in an uptrend, was always ever since a long time. And the market is going to come in now with new buying that's happening today. And people that are short of this market are going to get run over because people are still going to think this market's going to turn around and drop. And I Googled the other day market crashes to see. I, I'm just shocked about the number of things that are out there on the Internet videos, all kinds of stuff about saying the market's going to crash. The market's going to crash down some crazy crash bigger than it ever had before. It's not going to happen. There's no reason to even think that's going to happen. There's no sign here that's going to happen. You have to read the price. You have to read the power of money. I'm really lucky that I know how to do that. I shouldn't say lucky. I mean, it took a long time and a lot of years of my life to figure out how to do that. But, you know, I do know how to read what buying is and selling and shorting. And I know how to we read weakness and I know how to read strength. Look, this market's good. Look at this. Is, is this going to go into 93? It could go over 93 tonight. It's only 130, 145. Beautiful buy in the market. So I know how to read, like I was saying, power of money. This is coming in here in the market today. Beautiful call I made to the upside here in this market. Tough call, too. For a millisecond, I thought of buying this. <laughs> I don't know why I hesitated. I'm tired today. If you trail back the last week or so, the last four or five days, every 15 minute rally could have been shorted. And that's, I, I even said before this even set up today, and everybody in the room knows, I say these things in the videos after the fact, but any person that's trading with me knows, I said this was a 15 minute that was gonna set up in here and fake, because every 15 minute sell setup has followed through in the market for the last few days. And I said, traders just intend to just keep doing those things. They just keep doing them until they don't work anymore. And that's the wrong thing to do. That is, there's no strategy in that whatsoever. There's nothing to play on. There's nothing in the daily chart. People were just shorting 15-minute rallies 
every day for the last week. And I knew then when this triggered today that it wasn't going to follow through. And it triggered in here. People shorted this. The market blew higher, blew over the high, and is rallying now. And who knows where this could go? We'll just could rally for the next two hours into the close. Like, not even pull back. Who knows? But shorts were stopped out here today because people were just shorting every 15-minute sell setup in the market every day. And, and, and I'm, I'm saying this was tough today because of the fact that we did gap down this morning. I and mean, we absolutely did gap down this morning. And so it was anybody's guess what was going to happen if we were going to continue to break lower and lower and lower and lower, lower or actually hold. But the thing that I talked about in the room was that I thought we would hold. Why? Because this is where the QQQs needed to hold. This is where if the bulls were going to come in, this was the spot to do it. I, you know, this was the spot to do it. And I've been talking about this for a while. The market was higher. The SPY has been trading aggressively past the Qs for the last two years. So the fact that the SPY came in deeper, is now these two markets are coming together in the right place in the right area. But because there's a series of lower highs and lower lows, people think the market's turned direction. People think the market's on a double, triple top. It hasn't. The market is probably going to make a new high yet in October. It's, it's going to end the month extremely bullish, which I called a couple of videos ago. This is, you know, real here, people. Really, really nice. So good call by me in the market today to go long. And it's holding. And unless something crazy happens overnight, we should get up tomorrow morning. Should follow through. Remember the one thing I said. Don't be surprised when the bulls step in and want to start buying. That it flips around very, 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 very quickly. Like we could retrace this drop off for the last five days in two, literally three. Well, tomorrow's Friday, but we could retrace 75, 80% of this in the next two days. Rally, 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 rally. We're just going to, we're going to rally here to the close. Market will close strong today, 100% conviction. <clears throat> So beautiful call in here and tough to see today. Why? Because we did gap down. We gap down and we've gap down every day for the last week and fall in red. Every 15-minute sell setup could have been shorted. Wasn't the case today. Was no strategy there anyways. Got to play a strategy. One strategy, you know how to read. And for me, it's gaps. And the market's bullish. People have shorted this market. are going to get run over, lickety split. Buying's already coming in. When the shorts get stopped out, they'll get run over. People that got out too soon of stuff that's long will buy back in. That's not going to be here. It's going to be somewhere after we go over and make another high. And that's what's going to take the market up to some crazy, crazy, crazy bullish number, which I have been saying is going to happen and is still setting up to play out that way. And we're not crashing. And I'm just shocked about the number of people of videos online. The market's going to crash because it's just not going to happen. And uh, I had a discussion with a friend the other night. It was yesterday about the market. So maybe he'll come over and do a video with me one of these days here soon. But nice call I made here to go along in the market. And it's not on the 200 period moving average. It's not on this and it's not on that. How did I know how to figure this out? Because of, because of gaps. you got to learn how to read gaps if you want to trade. That's one of the reasons that I make calls like today. I mean, this is like... This is like really good. <laughs> I, we may not even pull back here at 2 o'clock, 2.15. If there's a pullback at 2 o'clock, 2.15, it's viable. But I don't even know if we're going to. We may just blow right up to 93 and keep on going. We may end up having some really nice, nice, nice green stretch bars here in the 15 minute, which haven't even formed yet. So this is the Stock Swiss Show live. Golden Gap class is not this weekend, but the next weekend, the 25th to 26th of October. If you're interested in learning how to read gaps or interested in learning about technical analysis, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.